Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again. I hope you're doing yoga every day. Uh, don't suck like I do sometimes. Please join me. Uh, even if you don't join me, please join uh, in your mat and you know, rest will follow. All right, I think today maybe we'll start a little differently. Let's wake our body up. First our head, I'll face the camera. First our head, we'll roll our head clockwise and counterclockwise, but very slowly. Don't do a vigorous movement. One, two, three. And then, this was clockwise, we're gonna do counterclockwise. One, two, three. All right. Now let's do shoulder uh, movements. Let's shrug our shoulders back first. One, two, three. Forward. One, two, three. All right. Now we're gonna do movement in our hips. So rotate. One, two, three. Other way. Take this way. So one, two. Three. All right, now uh, bring your thighs together. One, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent. Now we're gonna tap on our thighs gently by folded. One, two, three. Back of your shin, one, two, three. And we'll end it with the fourth foot. So basically we try to wake up our whole body. Lift up. Fourth fold again. Let's bring ourselves up one vertebra at a time. Hold the prayer pose. Back bend is necessary, so we're gonna do the back bend, which you didn't do in the beginning. And a back bend. We'll come back to um, standing position. I'm gonna add a little bit of stretch to our side. Hold your wrist, stretch your side, other side, full body stretch, look up. Step on her back. Up dog. Down dog. Right leg up. Right leg forward. Low lunge. Lift your lunge. At the back bend. Hands come forward. Left leg means right leg. Forward fold. Step or hop back. Up dog. Down dog. Left leg up. Left leg forward. Low lunge, back bend, hands come forward, tuck your back toe and lift your knee, right leg meets left leg, forward fold. Just open your legs up a little in forward fold and put your palms uh, under your feet.
Hip up. Let's first come to an open legged um, Utkatasana. Uh, this is good if you're pregnant. Since I am not pregnant, I'm going to close my legs. And stay in Utkatasana. Make sure you can see all your ten toes. If you don't, adjust yourself and go a little deeper. Let's hold a prayer and move to one side. Now move it, move your leg back to come to a high lunge prayer. Take it to a bind. Back to prayer and then move your leg forward to come to Uttarasana. Come face forward. Prayer on the other side. Take your leg behind you. Come to a high lunge twist. Take it to a bind if you can. Back to prayer and then back leg raise front leg. Four pole. Step on her back. Now come to our high plank. Let's hold our plank for a little bit. 30 seconds. feel bored you can lift your leg holding the plank all right 30 seconds done down low Let's put our left hand to the center and free your right hand to hold our shin and look under your armpit. Now putting the other hand in the middle. Come to plank, lift your right leg, and then we're going to do one legged uh, flow. Push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Let's open our left side, or oh, actually, left side, I think, and come to wild things. Come back to center. Come to low plank. Sorry, high plank. Lift your other leg and then we'll do one legged flow. Push up. Chaturanga. Up dog and then down dog. And open your other side. Sorry, first actually let's open and then we'll go to wild things. And now come to wild things. Come 
moving back to down dog. Right leg up. Right leg forward. High lunge. Lunge twist and then we'll do pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come to up rear twist. You can open your arms or you can bind. Face forward, take it to a pyramid. Come to a revolving pyramid. in last twist. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come into prayer twist. Open your arms. Maybe you can bite. Face forward. Come to triangle, uh, sorry, pyramid. And then come to revolve the pyramid. From revolving pyramid, let's come to warrior three. And a few holes. Pose. 
move to your left side to stretch your right side. Move to your right side to stretch your left side. I'm going to try pinch my resina one more time. This time I'm going to intentionally try to hit the wall to uh, put my legs behind my head. So first come to dolphin and if you don't want to try pinch my resina, that's fine. You can just roll here. Otherwise. Just for the fun of it, so don't take it too seriously. Once you're done uh, on the wall, come join me in down dog. I'm gonna rest here. Right leg up, right leg forward. Our favorite warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Side angle. Let's do a bind in side angle. And then you can take a full bind. Bring your back leg to meet the front leg. And maybe take it to Birds of Paradise. I like using the wall if you can get a deeper extension. And again, if you don't want to do it, stay in the side angle pose. Coming down. Triangle. You can try a binding triangle and then if you have a binding triangle keeping the bind can you come to half moon and then not about us. I'll try to stay in the dry the sun even longer and improve on it. Standing split. forward. Warrior one. Warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Side angle. You can do a half bind or a full bind. Then you can bring your back leg to meet the front leg and try parts of paradise. the same way you came to the post. 
going to side angle, the triangle. You can hold a binding triangle if you want. And then if you're having a binding triangle, keeping the bind, you can come to half moon. and then Natarajasana. Again, I'm going to try to spend a little bit more time in Natarajasana. Standing split. And then some hops, hopefully leading to handstand. against me, I actually don't show the easiest of the inversion, which is headstand, I'm going to try it. I think I mentioned before I don't like headstand, because if done not carefully, you can compress your neck. So, but I will try to give you a direction where you shouldn't compress your neck. So first, create a sort of, what is a cushion, but like a hand sheltering almost like yeah you just want a triangle again hand is not so important but I usually use my elbows and the arm to support some of the weight so that's why I find it impo it's important and then put the flat part of your head in between your um, hands and then there's a thing that my instructor used to tell me root to rise uh, it, it used to not make much sense, but now it does. So you're, you're really rooted still. And you're almost the point of tipping. That's when, like, instead of, you shouldn't try to hop. Um, you can, of course, like, hop and come. But as I was saying, there's a risk of compressing your neck. So you try to get to a position where inversion is not like it's not the most important thing it will just happen i'm not doing it properly still because i'm using the wall let me create some distance from the wall Try one more time. Still not the way I want to. Mainly because I think I don't practice this pose at all. I really you should be able to just tuck your leg and bring it close. But I'm still using some momentum. Make sure we decompress our neck. How we're gonna make sure? Let's come to a open leg forward fold and let our head hang. And you know, many of you could just touch your head on the ground. And that's, that's not what we're trying to do right now. We're just trying to put all the weight, make our head heavy, so our neck gets to decompress. side lunge keeping both legs straight actually the outer leg straight lift up go down and lift up and 
Very nice. Now let's come to goddess. For goddess, our feet go sideways. Um, and then we're going to go to goddess. And then we're going to do a twist in goddess. side coming up just come to star pose now face forward come to low plank right leg to right arm right leg to nose Right leg to left arm and then take it out, engage your core, keep your legs lifted and then come back. Left leg to left arm, left leg to nose, left leg to right, leg, uh, right arm and then take your leg out and keep it lifted. Engage your core, come back to plank. Come on your belly. Um, if you are in your period, just be careful, it's fine to do it, you know, as long as your flow is not going too heavy today. Anyway, I'm not going to press on the belly too much, so this might be okay. Come to uh, Cobra or Sphinx, and then look behind on your right shoulder to see if you can look at your feet, come face the center and then look on the other shoulder. Nice. Let's come to baby cobra and then take it to Salavasana. Uh, maybe if you are on your period, don't go to the next one which is uh, go pose because we are going to be legit on our belly. It will just press your belly more and increase the flow. Alright. Now we are going to do some shoulder stretches. Arms on both sides. And then roll out. Try to find your other hand. It's right there. Hold it. Um, one of the things I learned from my instructor was, you know, if you still don't feel anything on your shoulder, you can always keep the hand that's on the ground a little higher so it's more stretch. Yeah, I was so full of myself, I would be like, oh yeah, I feel nothing. What can I do to feel something? And then he showed me that. So what I'm saying, like this hand, instead of just keeping it this level, you can put it up so then it gets harder to bind. This gives a really nice stretch on my shoulder. I personally find it is very juicy and nice. Alright, let's come out. If you have your block handy, which I don't found it, take your block, put it in between your thighs and squeeze it really hard. It, it should be so hard that it's like hard to breathe, like really, really uh, force all your strength on that block with your inner thighs, which will in turn wake up your outer thighs and the hip flexor. Very nice. We'll do one more time. Come on, squeeze it. I know you can. If it was there and I was like pushing your block away. We'll do one more time. Very 
very nice. All right, we'll not test out if it was a success or not by trying to do donkey kicks against the wall. You'll feel lighter on your hips if you actually try to wake up your thighs or I mean, I'm sure you did, but if it worked. Donkey kicks. One was good I could get some air that's what you want eventually nice the last one wasn't so nice but the one two before it was good all right we are on all fours let's add a little bit cut cow breathe in breathe out breathing Breathe out. We are going to come to what pose? And then Supta Vadakanasana. And let's come to double pigeon from here and recline in double pigeon. Coming out, switch your leg, and then recline again. Nice. Let's come down, come to gentle inversion. Let's come to supine twist. to center, so find twist on the other side. Come to Savasan. And your favorite side in feet pose. Close our practice with a round of all breathing. Um, thank you everybody for joining me. Hopefully you actually join me. Um, see you guys tomorrow.